Right now, a lot of attention's on our na attention is on our nation's drone policy. After Kentucky Senator Rand Paul filibustered, spoke for nearly 13 hours in that rare move, focusing on what he says is the Obama administration's refusal to rule out the possibility of drone strikes on U.S. citizens. Paul saying no American should ever be killed by a drone on American soil without first being charged with a crime and found guilty by a court. Joining us now, Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. I know you have some pretty strong feelings about the drone program. Well, well Senator Paul and I are on the exact same page. He and I have discussed this many times. We, we did not discuss how one stands and stays awake and, and lives as a normal human being for 13 hours in the, on the well of the and, and that wasn't even the record. Strom Thurmond did it more than 24 hours. I don't hours, know how but. Strom Thurmond did that, because you know they have to stay standing and they can't leave for the normal things that we would all want to take a break for. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of the essence of what he did, did he succeed in preventing John Brennan from becoming the head of the CIA? Probably not. There's enough votes to confirm him, and that, that vote will be today, tomorrow, or Saturday. But I don't think that was his real goal, John. John, I think his goal was to open up the eyes of the American public to the attitude of the White House, which seems to be we can kill whoever we want, how we want, without revealing it to the public, without even revealing it to Congress, and we're not even going to answer Senator Paul's letter about how we got here historically, legally, and constitutionally. Because the Constitution couldn't be clearer. If the government wants life, liberty or property it must take it through due process due process can mean a declared war against an enemy combatant but it cannot mean killing a guy an american or not sitting in a cafe having lunch with a 16 year old son we use the drone program uh, obviously in places like afghanistan we've taken out a number of terrorists in in, in there and in north africa as well is it such a slippery slope to imagine, you know, drones at some future point being used on the streets of, I don't know, New York City? Well, I think it is for a couple of reasons. When this question was put to uh, the Air Force uh, about six months ago, the Air Force responded by saying, we expect to have applications for 30,000 drones in the U.S. in the next 10 years. The vast majority will be owned by state and local police. Will they be used just for surveillance or will they be used offensively? And, and more interestingly, John, when uh, Bob Mueller, the director of the FBI, was asked if drones can be used to kill people, he said, ask the White House. When John Brennan, the soon-to-be director of the CIA, was asked the same question, he said, ask the White House. When the attorney general was asked that question, he hemmed and hawed and hemmed and hawed and went back and forth with the great Senator Ted Cruz from Texas and eventually, after much hemming and hawing, said no. But it's very, very dangerous that this is not a clear and crystal and pristine and immediate no, of course not. With this, this isn't Stalin Russia. And we don't do this. And, and, and he said, you know, I thought I made that clear after a lot of hemming and hawing. He didn't make it clear. Senator Paul has made it clear to the public that the White House is contemplating these type of murders and the White House and anybody in the government who thinks they can do this needs to be restrained and needs an eye opener. Yesterday they got it. But should he have to suffer his body and soul through 13 hours of standing and, let's face it, not going to the bathroom in order to open up the country's eyes? That's, that's the situation we're in today. The brave new world not that far away. No, not that far away at all. When Aldous Huxley, author of Brave New World, and Orwell wrote these things, we figured it's science fiction. Now it's here. Judge Andrew Napolitano, always good to get your take. Thank you. Pleasure. Pleasure to you, too.